का और मेरा विचार समाप्त करता हूँ धन्यवाद धन्यवाद जी श्री चंद्रशेखर साहू जी थैंक यू सर सर आई राइज टू स्पीक ऑन द वीपन्स ऑफ मास डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड देर डिलीवरी सिस्टम्स प्रोविशन ऑफ अनलॉफुल एक्टिविटीज अमेंडमेंट बिल 2022 Brought by our honourable external affairs minister, sir. This is a very old bill because uh, in 2005 this bill has been sanctioned. But uh, during this time, that time, this is uh, only the provision of lawful activity passed 2005 only banned manufacture of weapons of mass destruction, sir. The bill. seeks to provide for provision against financing of proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and their delivery systems so as to fulfill our international obligations the united nations security council targeted financial sanctions and recommendations of financial action task force have mandated against financing of proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and they delivery systems and this bill has been brought on this background sir sir when it comes to preventing uh, weapons of mass destruction and proliferation we need to be conscious of both state and non state actors money laundering terrorist financing and the financing of the proliferation weapons of mass destruction can have negative effects on a country including increase in violent and organized crime and corruption from international perspective it can result in loss of reputations on international market loss of donor functioning loss of foreign direct investment loss of credibility for uh, financial sector therefore identifying assessing and understanding proliferation financing risks on a regular basis is very much essential sir india has always made its position clear on this issue India opposed signing the NPT and CTBT for valid reasons. Sir. India had campaigned for improving a ban on nuclear weapons testing for a long period. In 1954, India initiated a global call at the UN Disarmament Commission for an end to nuclear testing and a freeze on missile material production. in 1978 and 1982 at the special session on disarmament india proposed for banning nuclear testing and in 1988 it introduced action plan for the time bound elimination of nuclear weapons however in 1993 india took a different course and opposed the tt on the ground that it is silent on destruction of existing nuclear stockpiles the treaty also doesn't contain any time bound program for destruction of nuclear weapons thereby leaving nuclear disarmament solely at the discretion of nuclear weapon states sir india underlined the importance of the chemical weapons convention and the biological weapon convention as examples of non discriminating treaties in the field of disarmament for the total elimination of specific type of nuclear weapons of mass destruction india reaffirms that disarmament is a primary goal of chemical weapons convention and should remain the priority till the complete destruction of all chemical weapons it chemical weapons is achieved india is a responsible nuclear weapon state 
and is committed as per its nuclear doctrine to maintain credible minimum deterrence with the posture of non first use and non use against non nuclear weapon states at the un india supports the full and effective implementation of chemical weapons convention and emphasized the strengthening of the uh, opcw to fulfill its important mandate the will is in national interest and in accordance with our international obligation i on behalf of my party biju janata dal supports this bill any step in the direction of national security and global peace we always support sir in fact our honorable chief minister sri navin patnaik ji has advocated for inclusion of ahimsa that means non violence in the preamble of our constitution that will strengthen india's position as a leader of peace with these words i support the bill sir and i conclude thank you sir thank you very much sri ritesh pande ji thank you honorable speaker sir chairperson uh, i rise